So your commute time to and from work has increased in the last two or three years. Growth in Charlotte is a fact. 50 people are moving here every day. In the Charlotte-Mecklenburg schools, we celebrate our students and teachers. And we celebrate school facilities where the learning takes place. Some schools are built to accommodate growing numbers of students, while others are built to replace old facilities that have become difficult to maintain. School construction is funded through bonds that are approved by voters and issued by the Board of County Commissioners. Let's look at some projects now that were funded by the 2013 bond referendum. These schools are receiving upgrades that will facilitate delivery of career technical education courses. Welcome to Garinger High School. Did you know that the school was featured in National Geographic magazine in 1962? In the northern part of the county, Davidson Elementary is undergoing a conversion to a K-8 through facility. 20 new classrooms will be ready for occupancy in August of 2019. Ashley Park and Druid Hills are undergoing K-8 through conversions in Phase 2. These two schools will open in August of 2019. Construction work can be fascinating and it can be frustrating. Excessive rain can play havoc with construction schedules. Sometimes this means catching up in dry weather, working into the night. Collinswood Language Academy will be replaced by a new facility on Tyvola Road. The 63 classroom school will welcome students in August of 2020. This project is funded through the 2017 bonds. These schools will be replaced. Note that the new West Charlotte High School will begin construction in April of 2020 at the school's present site. It's scheduled for completion in August of 2022. A specialty school for EC students is being built on Statesville Road. This facility is also funded through the 2017 bonds. If you'd like more information on the Capital Improvements Program, go to the CMS Construction Projects and Building Projects website.